Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Hyderabad. We are here at the Hyderabad International Convention Center, which is at the moment the venue for the Aeromart Hyderabad. Aeromart Hyderabad is an Indo-French event happening under the aegis of uh, BCI Aerospace and uh, Government of Telangana. And friends, here I am at the stall of J Aerospace. A name which really became the talk of the town about a month and a half to back when they got angel investors for their startup. It's wonderful, you know, I'm here with Venkat and uh, Venkat, it will be very nice. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself and uh, friends, he's the co-founder and just the man to talk to, the man in the eye of the storm. He's been making news all throughout the country. Welcome, Jay, to uh, uh, Venkat, to... You know, when it comes to Jay, it's so much incorporated with your names that at the end of the day, I really tend to forget that Jay is your name or the company's name. So welcome, Venkat and Jay thank Aerospace to ADU's chat. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. And wonderful to have you here. Now tell me, what is Jay Aerospace all about? Ma'am, we are an uh, aerospace component manufacturer uh, who are working on solving the global resilience problem. Currently, if you look at aerospace industries in a uh, extremely uh, turbulent uh, condition wherein there are severe supply constraints uh, post the pandemic wherein there is a huge uh, surge in the uh, 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 demand uh, where supply, supply is extremely constrained. Today we are working on bringing the technology and the capabilities that we have in India to solve this global uh, supply chain constraint in the aerospace industry. And you really are a youngster, Venkat. So tell me uh, about yourself. And you also have a you're a co-founder, so you also have a partner. Yeah. So tell me about both of you. Uh, Ma'am, I'm an aeronautical engineering by uh, aeronautical engineer by education, uh, and then uh, post my graduation, then I have worked with the Tata Group's aerospace arm, uh, and so is uh, my co-founder Vishal. Uh, uh, we have uh, done some good work while we were with the uh, Tata Group. We have uh, worked with all the top global OEMs, did some leadership positions in the JVs that uh, Tata's had with uh, uh, Boeing, Lockheed, and Sikorsky. Post our uh, journey with uh, Tata Group, then we have seen a clear white space in the aerospace industry where we had a uh, severely underserved market in terms of tier 1s and tier 2s of uh, uh, aerospace supply chain where most of the value add happens. So that's when we have coined this idea of uh, uh, starting this entity, J Aerospace Private Limited, wherein we are uh, serving the tier 1s and tier 2s of uh, global aerospace market uh, uh, in solving their supply uh, constraints. And what is JJ? Does it is it an acronym or uh, what is what is the name? Uh, Mem, uh, uh, J uh, means a bird in Latin, but also uh, 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 we have uh, come from uh, uh, Tata Group. I mean, both Vishal and I have spent entire uh, corporate career with uh, Tata Group. Uh, 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 one of the founders of the uh, chairman of the Tata Group, uh, Mr. J.R.D. Tata, uh, he was fondly called as J uh, yeah. by people who were very close to him. Uh, so it's sort of a tribute uh, in a way from our side. Oh, wonderful. That's so, so nice to hear that, you know. It's great. It's uh, Mr. J.R.D. Tata and his contributions to aerospace are, uh, you know, not to be, you know, I think the whole world knows them. Absolutely. And uh, that's a wonderful idea. Now, uh, both of you are based out of two different countries. So what is this geographical divide about? So currently we have uh, two uh, geographical locations, ma'am. One location is Hyderabad in India. The other location is Atlanta in the US. Uh, Vishal operates out of Atlanta. I operate out of uh, uh, India. Uh, if you look at most of our customer, potential customer segment is in the US. Uh, uh, being a new startup and a, a new company is very important. We have realized very soon it's very important to be close to our customers. That's where we have a physical presence in the US, wherein Vishal manages our customer engagement, business development activities, being closer to the customer, being the face of J Aerospace uh, uh, in the US, wherein we have all the manufacturing operations uh, uh, here in India, which I manage. Wonderful. Very nice. Now, tell me something about... Uh the status quo of your uh, company. What is it doing at the moment? What is the status? And what uh, what are you planning to do? Is there a are you developing a manufacturing line? So what is it all about? So currently we are, as we speak, we are building a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility in Hyderabad. Uh, uh, we have inaugurated the facility early this year. Currently the infrastructure work is going on. Uh, uh, we we will have our uh, uh, machines and all received, and we plan to uh, start uh, our production in the month of August. Uh, this year, that's the plan. Uh, what we have, we are also building a uh, first of its kind smart factory uh, in our uh, in our facility, wherein we are trying to integrate the technology and the uh, people capabilities that we have in India to offer best of supply chain solutions to the rest of the world. And uh, you know, since you have you are manufacturing, 
So your machines and all are all there. Everything is ready. Currently, we've ordered the machines, ma'am. They are uh, in transit. Uh, we are expecting them to start receiving by end of this month. And so, by when will you be actually functional? Uh, we will be functional by end of August. <laughs> okay. And uh, you know, uh, basically, when you are doing so much, you also have to see whether, even since you are in Hyderabad, uh, what is the level of uh, you know. interaction you have and what are the are there any challenges for setting up such sort of a business uh, is government helpful uh, to the uh, you know startups in starting their uh, businesses what is everything all about no absolutely ma'am uh, uh, support from the government is a very crucial uh, uh, element for a startup like us uh, so our government here in telangana has been extremely supportive uh, uh, in fact the uh, ministry of industries uh, mr sridhar babu was uh, uh, at the inauguration of our facility uh, early this year uh, so the support has been extremely good we have been able to get our approvals uh, and everything in a seamless manner which is really helpful for a company like us who is in its early phase wonderful i think this is something very good about telangana the sort of effort which has come from the startup industry has been very very nicely commensurated by the government's ease of doing business policy i think yeah. and uh, also uh, you made news last month and there was so much of news about you guys you got an angel investor so let's let's hear about who, what happened there yeah and so we have been uh, fortunate uh, to get uh, backing from some of the most reputed uh, uh, people in the industry uh, while we have raised uh, rc running from uh, general catalyst as a lead investor a san francisco based firm but we also have support from uh, some of the very notable names uh, in the indian aerospace industry in form of angel investor uh, investors uh, 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 one gentleman you all know uh, is pratyush kumar uh, used to be the president of boeing india he is an angel investor and mentor who has been helping us throughout our journey uh, we also have mr dwarka uh, Nivasan is to be the ex president and CEO of Airbus India. He is also an angel investor. We are also further supported by uh, uh, Mr. Sunil Velagupudi, uh, ex chief engineer of Boeing India, and uh, Mr. Sagar Patel, uh, ex president of uh, Woodward INC in the US. Wonderful! That's really great for youngsters. You guys are youngsters only, and uh, at the end of the day, it's a great achievement. Wish you all the best, Venkat, and let's hope that you know by the end of this year we hear about everything in prime and. place and your factories running about and production has begun thank you very much for speaking to adu that was wonderful to have thank you so much